John Vibes is here to entertain you. Nakwethu. Beje used Muti to trap his slay queen's second wife, Mavila Kazi. Nakwethu happily ever after kicked off on a very bad note all around. The happiness was clearly lacking with the wives, but no one was expecting what came out of Mavila Kazi's mouth. The show started off with Langa and much to my greatest relief, discovering Mashalembe had actually left him. It was very good news indeed. We got to know that Mad Lamini had actually left Dulas, it was so good news all round, but it was not going to remain that way forever because bad things of course happen in Nakwetu that I will be revealing to you all in today's video. But before that, you're welcome to the channel. Do well to give a thumbs up by liking this video, drop a comment after watching it all, subscribe and hit the post notification bell so you don't miss out on our subsequent videos. A man used love potion on a young woman. I was naturally expecting to have Mavila Kazi come by with an attitude and a viscous anger. At first, it was unclear what her problem was, only that she was furious with him. I started to think perhaps he had tried to get a third wife and she has been having none of it, but it wasn't something like that. It was an issue even bigger than that. She told a story of how she had gone for a ceremony at home that her mother was actually planning for her and her sister, only to discover that she had been bewitched by her bed, Jay. She was actually distraught as she cried and asked him why he would do something like that to her. She then specified that she was never coming back and that he was never her type. Guys, I'm not understanding why sometimes you have to use immunity on somebody. Even if you love the person so much and the person does not love you then, let life do its thing. Let life actually carry out its turn. You never know. The person might not like you today, but the person will most definitely fall so deep in love with you tomorrow. Do not use immunity. Do not use some African traditionalist in order to get a man or a woman in your bed. Personal thoughts. My thing is this. Men always make it seem like it's only women who use love potions. But during the end, credits of the show, Beja admitted to having love potions in his spouse. It is absolutely so disgusting and it's not so nice to even get. I once heard a pastor say that actually using mute against someone is like placing a demon inside of someone else and is a demon that you are actually dating. It was a gross thought, but it looks like it is very much true. Marvila Kadzi actually looked disgusted by the very idea of him. The spell and had actually definitely been broken. He even threatened that she actually will return and I felt genuinely afraid for her. I hope she will be safe anyways because as of now, we are still doubting any of those. Guys, I'm advising each and every one of you never use mute against somebody or on somebody because you never know tomorrow when they discover they will even hate you more than ever before. So in the comment section, you will tell me what you feel and with that, we've come to the end of this video. If you are new here, do not leave without subscribing and hitting the pass notification notification bell. Love you all from the bottom of my heart. Jam vibes.